Hello students, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read unit number 18, Why the Sea is Salty from Oxford Reading Circle. So, we start our lesson. A long, long time ago, there were two brothers, one rich and one poor. One Christmas Eve, John, the poor one, had no food in the house. He went to see his brother Peter to ask for something to have for lunch on Christmas Day. It was not the first time Peter had been forced to help John, and so he wasn't very glad to see his face. He said, If you will do what I ask you to do, I will help you. Poor John was full of thanks and said he would do anything. Well, here is the meat, said the rich brother. Now go straight to dead man's hall. I have given my words, so I must do as you say, said John. He took the meat and set off. He walked the whole day and at dusk he came to a strange gateway. Maybe this is it, said John to himself. Then he saw an old man who stood outside, sawing wood. Good evening, said John. Good evening. Where are you going, said the man. Oh, I am trying to find the way to dead man's hall, answered the poor man. Well, you are here, said the old man. When you get inside, they will all offer to buy your meat, because meat is scarce. Scarce? in short supply in dead man's hall make sure you don't sell it unless you get the hand mill which stands behind the door in exchange when you come out i'll teach you how to handle the mill you can use it to grind almost anything the poor man thanked the old man for his good advice and knocked at the door when he got in, everything was just as the old man had said. Everyone came swarming up, swarming to move or assemble in a crowd, swarming up to him like ants around an ant hill, and each tried to outbid the other for the meat. Well, said John, my wife and I were going to have this meat for our dinner. But since you want it so much, I must sell it to you. I will swap it for the mill over there. At first, they refused and they hoggled, hoggled the act of bargaining. They haggled with John, but John stuck to what he said. And at last, they gave him the mill. When John got out into the yard, the old woodcutter taught him how to use it. He thanked the woodcutter and went off home as fast as he could. It was very late when John got home. Where have you been? said his worried wife. I had to go a long way, said John. But look at what I have got. He put the mill on the table and told it to grind lights, then a tablecloth, then meat, and so on till they had got everything that was nice for Christmas. The mill ground out whatever he told it to. His wife was astonished. They had everything they wanted and their stomachs were full. After a few days, he asked all his friends and kin, kin? one's family and relations, kins to his house and gave a great feast when his rich brother saw all that was on the table uh, and all that was in the house. He grew quite spiteful and wild. He couldn't bear that his brother should have anything. He came to me on Christmas Eve, Peter said to the rest. He was begging because he had nothing and now he gives a feast as if he were king, Peter turned to John and said, Where did all this wealth come from? John didn't want to tell him at first, but later on he became boastful and he could keep his secret no longer. He brought out the mill and said, This is what has made me rich. 
he made the mill grind grind crush grind all kind of things when peter saw it he wanted the mill john eventually agreed to give it to him in exchange for 300 pieces of silver it was evening when the rich brother got the mill home peter said to his wife you go out for a walk and i'll have dinner ready when you get home he put the mill on the kitchen table and said grind herrings and broth herrings a fairly small silvery fish broth soup consisting of meat and grind them good and fast so the mill started when the first dish was full peter got another when all the dishes were full peter got a tub when all the tubs were full the food began to spill onto the kitchen floor and still it kept flowing peter twisted and twirled at the mill to get it to stop but the mill went on grinding in a little while the booth rose so high that peter was about to drown just in time he managed to get hold of the latch latch of a device become fixed in a particular state latch of the house door and escape once out he ran off down the road with the stream of herrings and broth at his heels roaring like a waterfall over the whole farm peter ran to his brother's house and begged him to take back the mill immediately if it grinds for much longer we will all drown in herrings and broth but john wouldn't agree to take it back till peter paid him 300 pieces of silver more so poor john got both the money and the mill he used the mill to set up a farmhouse far finer than his brothers he even covered it with gold the farm lay by the seaside and the golden house gleamed and glistened glistened shone sparkled glistened far away over the sea all who sailed by put ashore to see the rich man in the golden house and the wonderful famous mill one day a ship's captain came to the farm he wanted to see the mill he asked can it grind salt grind salt said jean yes it can grind anything when the captain heard that he said he must have the mill whatever the cost with it he would never again have to cross the stormy seas to collect salt at first john wouldn't sell it the captain begged and pleaded so hard that at last john agreed but only when the captain had paid him many thousands of silver pieces the captain took the mill and left quickly before john could change his mind he had no time to ask how to handle the mill he got on board his ship as fast as he could and set sail when he had sailed a good way off he brought the mill on deck grind salt he said the mill began to grind salt and it poured on in a stream until the ship was full the captain wished to stop the mill but whichever way he turned it and however much he tried it was no good the mill kept grinding on and the heap of salt grew and grew until the ship was sunk to this day the mill lies at the bottom of the sea and grinds away and that's why the sea is salty now come to the exercises a questions one what does john ask peter for and why answer john asks peter for some food to eat for lunch on christmas eve two why does everyone in dead man's hall want the meat answer everyone at the dead man's hall wants to buy the meat because meat is rarely found there three how many times does peter give john money answer peter gave money to john twice peter gives a total of 600 silver pieces four what made visitors stop to look at john's new house answer many visitors came to john's new house to see the golden house and the wonderful magical mill 
five. Why is the sea salty? According to the story. Answer. According to the story, the sea is salty because the captain who started grinding the mill for salt did not know how to work the mill. Hence, there was an overflow of salt which got deposited in the sea. 6. Go through the story again. What lessons can you learn from the characters in the story? Answer. We learn lessons from the characters that we should not be greedy at all. As you become greedy, it always spoils you. As it is a famous saying, greed is curse. B. Reference to context. Read these lines from the story, then answer the questions. 1. He wasn't very glad to see his face. A. Who wasn't glad? Answer. Peter wasn't glad. B. Why wasn't he glad? Answer. Peter wasn't glad because he knew that John had come to ask for money or some other help for him. C. What happens next? Answer. Peter gives John a piece of meat and asks him to go to the dead man's hall. 2. Yes, it can grind anything. A. Who says these words and to whom? Answer. The old carpenter standing by the gate of the dead man's hall says the given words to John. B. What is he referring to? Answer. He is referring to magical mill that can grind anything that the owner of the mill asks for. C. What does the listener want it to make? Answer. The listener, John, wants it to make lights, tablecloth, meat and several other things that were nice for Christmas. C. Words and meaning. 1. Can you find words from the story to use in the blanks? A. The poor brother had no meat to have on Christmas Day. B. I will grind this meat for that millstone, said John. C. The rich brother became spiteful and wild when he saw his brother's wealth. D. The man's new house was much better than his brother's. 2. Name the following. A. Five birds. Sparrow, owl, dove, hummingbirds, eagle. B. Five boys' names in English. Beginning with A, B or C. Albert, Aaron, Bob, Broadman, Chaucer. C. Five girls' names in English. Beginning with D, G or L. Dora, Dorothy, Gilly, Lucy, Luca. D. Five flowers. Sunflower, Tulip, Lily, Rose, Jasmine. E. Four seasons. Summer, spring, autumn, winter. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.